What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you step by step how I achieve this extremely natural looking Marley Twist protective style. So let's get into it. So before installing my Marley Twist protective style, I am first going to gently unravel my current two strand twist and separate my hair strands. And then I'm going to give my edges and my scalp a quick massage. Once I'm done doing that, I will be moving on to parting out my hair using my favorite parting pattern, which is the grid pattern. And to ensure that I get my parts as straight as possible, I will be using my handheld mirror to assist me along the way. And also, I've already moisturized my hair strands. And once I'm happy with my partings, I secure one half of my hair with a hair tie, then continue with parting out medium to large rows and sections for installing my Marley Twist. To keep my hair strands from merging back into each other, I went ahead and quickly put in some loose two strand twists to keep them separated. Now I will be using the rubber band method to install these Marley twists. So after parting out my sections, I went ahead and divided the section further into two parts. Then I placed the Marley hair between my natural hair. And then I joined my natural hairs together and secured it with a rubber band. To tighten the rubber band, I then pulled my hairs apart. After this, I separated my natural hair and the Molly hairs together into two parts. Then I went ahead and installed my two strand twist. Then I repeat these same steps on the rest of my sections. So I first saw this technique done by a fellow YouTube content creator by the name of Tony Ola Oye and guys when I saw her video I was like I must try this because I'm the type of person who loves natural looking hairstyles and this hairstyle looked so natural so I thought why not give it a try. So I will be sure to link her channel in the description bar below for you to go ahead and check out her content. Once I'm done with the first row, I then move on to the next rows. So as I'm currently combating postpartum alopecia at the front of my hairline, I am very careful when carrying out each step. 
Now this step is optional, but as you can see, my hair is much thinner at the front. So to keep the hairs looking sleek without applying much tension, I will be using some edge control. And also, as you can see, I didn't wrap the rubber bands as much as I did with the other sections. So here is a look at the first half of my hair completed. And here is another look of how I installed my extremely natural looking Marley Twist protective style using the rubber band method. First, I added edge control to my section. Then I divide my section into two. I went ahead and placed the Marley hair between my natural hairs. And then I joined my natural hairs together and secured it with a rubber band. And to tighten the rubber band, I then pulled my hairs apart and carried on to installing my two strand twist. And here is a closer look at my extremely natural looking Marley Twist protective style. Now what I love about this rubber band method is that not only does it allow the hairstyle to look natural, but it is an excellent protective style for anyone experiencing postpartum hair thinning or hair loss who doesn't want to apply much tension to their natural hair unlike the traditional methods of installing Marley hair. Now if you're interested in using any of the products I used in this video, I will be sure to link them in the description bar below. And that's it guys, to achieve this look I used two packs of Marley hair which gave me 38 twists. And no lie guys, I was absolutely feeling myself with all this 44 inches of length and honestly I think this is a great protective style for anyone interested in styling their postpartum hair regrowth. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 6pm, we will be right back here with another video.